Hello everyone, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and here I am. I want to do a kind of sub mini series as we've been exploring the Raspberry Pi and physical computing and how it connects to the computer science standards and this blended workshop we've been developing. You can check the videos on YouTube as well as on my blog, coffeeforthebrain.com. I want to create a, a subset. Um, this is something that has continued to come up in conversations with educators. Um, I'm doing my own learning on it. I'm taking the Future Learn class from scratch to Python programming course, which has been uh, phenomenal so far. And I just want to start to break some of these things down. I think a a lot of educators, a lot of people who are thinking about text coding get overwhelmed. They think they can't do it. They, they say the phrases like, I'm not a coder, I'm not a program, I'm not a computer scientist. And you are, you can do these things. And I think sometimes it just requires baby steps. How do we start to see what we can do in Scratch and what's that look like in Python and text coding? And so what I want to do in this series and then moving forward is break these down and kind of show you what things look like in Scratch and then actually what it looks like in Python. And I think what you're going to find is actually like once you get more comfortable with text coding, things are actually a lot easier. Now, I'm not saying don't use Scratch because I think Scratch is wonderful for teaching kids how code works. I always like to describe it as Scratch is like teaching a, kids how to code through telling a story. This block sticks to this block, and then what happens, and then what happens, and then what do we want it to do? Uh, where sometimes in text code, it's a little harder to uh, see that information. So in this first one here, I want to take a look at variable assignments. What I mean by that is how do we actually create variables in Scratch and create and use variables in Python. And so one of the things that we're going to see here, I'm going to show you is like in Scratch, you have to create the variables first and then you can assign them to do whatever it is that you want. We're going to take a look at it here in just a minute. But in Python, you can just create the the variable upon assignment and, and use it. So let's take a look at what I mean by these. And so um, if we jump over here to Scratch and we create a, a new program here, if I want to create a variable, something I'm going to need for my program uh, when I'm going to write, and you'll see in future episodes um, the power of variables and, and why, why we would use them. You know, one of the first things we got to do, right, is we have to have an event. So first thing we got to do is we've got to create this event. In this case, we're just going to use where the green flag is, is clicked here. That's what we're going to start with. But if I go down here to variables, we don't have any variables. We just have a basic one. So the first thing we have to do is create one. And we can make this variable whatever. Um, I'm just going to call this, um, let's just call it lettuce. Because why not? So I have a variable lettuce. I have to actually create it first. Now that I have it, I can then use this block here where I can set lettuce to, let's just make it a number. So um, 32 is, is my jam. That's my jersey I used to always have, my jersey number. So we're going to call it 32. Okay, so now we have created the variable, we got to set the variable, and we got to tell it what we want lettuce to actually be. And then if we wanted to display it, have the cat say 32, all right, we got to bring the say block in, and then we have to go here to variables, and we have to drop in our variable block to say lettuce, right? So now when I run this, it should say, the cat should say 32. Boom, there we go, we've got it, right? So there is the beauty of how we use Scratch. This visually makes sense, right? When I click, I'm gonna set lettuce to 32, and I want the cat to say 32. Pretty straightforward, very helpful when we're teaching coding and kind of the structures. But let's go ahead and, and take a look at what this looks like in Python. All right, so I'm just using here um, the, the Python IDLE, all right? Um, so nothing too crazy in this particular case. Uh, but what I'm gonna be using is first, we have to develop the, the variable, right? Remember in Scratch, right, we had to go here, we had to make click make a variable, make the variable, then drag it in and identify it. So over here in Python, if I wanna make sure lettuce, I just say, lettuce equals 32. I've made my variable name and I've assigned it what I want it to do. That's all we have to do there, right? And so then now what I need to do, okay, is I want the program to say my variable, whatever it's gonna be. 
So we're just going to use a simple print command, which is pretty straightforward, okay? And in these parentheses, this is actually just going to say um, what my variable is. My variable is. I'm just going to leave a space here for the quotes. All right. So this is this. You can see it's in green here. So this is going to be the statement. It's going to say my variable is. I'm just going to put a comma here, and then I'm going to just label the name of my variable, just like so. So what we have here then is it's going to print my variable is a space comma and then it's going to print whatever my lettuce variable number is in this case it's 32. So when we go to to run this all right when I go to run this module let me go ahead and save it here we see it right here my variable is 32. All right so if I were to go up here and make this 23 and run it again it's going to show 23 it's going to save it it's 23. So as we look at this, you know, as you get more comfortable with coding, you're going to start to realize, okay, to do some things in Scratch requires actually more work, more blocks than the actual Python. So you can see the comparison here. I made my variable and I printed it. Here we had to make the variable, then we had to click a click response, then we had to put in what the variable is set to, and then we had to put say the letters. So you can just see the difference. Once again, not saying one's better than the other, but I just want you to realize text coding is not as complicated as it needs to be or as, as we think it needs to be. So there you go. I hope you found this helpful. As we start to think about variable assignment, this is just one of many facets. I want to continue this series, share some more insights along the way. Um, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, please let me know. Or other ways in which you could code this. If you have a different way of coding it in Scratch, I'd love to see it. Another way of coding it in Python, I would love to see it. And so until next time, my friends, keep coding, stay awesome. And as they say in many podcasts, right, to teach computer science requires more than just knowing computer science. Take care.